Hello. I am leaving for Southeast Asia tomorrow. <gasps> Hello, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm bringing with me on a four month backpacking trip in Southeast Asia. So today is January 8th that I'm filming this and I'm leaving for Southeast Asia tomorrow, January 9th. I'm really excited for a number of reasons. First off, this is my longest solo trip that I've ever done. Secondly, it's the longest trip that I've ever done. I'm also excited because I've never been to Asia before. So a totally new continent, totally new cultures, customs, traditions. I've been honing my packing skills a lot in the last couple of years, but this is the first time that I'm traveling with just a backpack, just a carry-on bag. And it's exciting, but it's also a little nerve-wracking. Hence why I'm sharing my packing process. <laughs> First off, let's talk about the prep that I had to do. This was a trip that you cannot just book at the last minute. This is a trip that you need to do a little bit of planning for. First thing, you need to get all your vaccines in order. You can go to a travel clinic and talk about all of the different vaccines that you need to get for Southeast Asia. Another thing you need to think about is visas. So a lot of the countries that I'm going to, you can get visas when you're there at the airport, except for Vietnam. Vietnam is one of the countries that you need to have a pre-approved visa before you enter the country. I also got antibiotics in case I get a little bit of an upset stomach. So you need to think about a lot of the times when you go to Southeast Asia, you could get a bug and you need to have some sort of plan in place in case that happens to you. So for me, I have Imodium and good old antibiotics just in case. Another thing you need to think about is bug spray and sunscreen. I had to think about this in the sense that I'm only bringing a carry-on so everything needs to be teeny tiny carry-on size. But yes, those are main things that you need to remember and think about before you plan on doing a trip like this. Anyway, let's get into the video now. I am traveling with my Eagle Creek tour travel pack. This is a 40 liter bag. Something that I really like about Eagle Creek is that they don't open like a normal backpack. They actually open like a suitcase. It's really nice because I feel like when it opens this way, it's easier to access your things. During my travels and in my vlogs, you'll see how much I'm enjoying this pack. I'm not too worried. I've heard really good things about it. So this bag has not only like a zipper compartment here, it also has these that will hold down whatever you put in a, on this side. It's also able to expand a little bit, so I think it can actually be um, 44 liters if you open up the sides and it can kind of expand. I'm gonna save that for when I'm coming home in case you know, things don't fit as nicely as they're fitting right now. The straps are all padded and nice. We've got like a front buckle, we've got a hip buckle as well. So it's gonna be providing good support. And it also um, is fully equipped with a rain cover that can go over your bag. There's also a part right here um, where you can put like anything that you need to remain flat, like travel documents, or if you were bringing your laptop or an iPad, that's where you would put that. The first thing that I'm putting in this bag is obviously all of my packing cubes. So I actually wrote down what's in each of my packing cubes that you know. This packing cube has all of my pants in it. So I have two pairs of jean shorts, one of them are black, one of them's a light wash jean short. I also have two long skirts. One of them's like this floral design, and then another one is just a simple black one. I also brought two pairs of biker shorts. Really like both of them. They're both very comfy. I also brought one pair of like lounge shorts that I'll probably wear to bed, and then I bought one pair of shorts that's kind of like a skirt that I can wear maybe going out. It's like business in the front, party in the back. Or to be party in the back, because the back is shorts. I don't know. I also brought two pairs of long black pants. This is going to be good because a lot of the temples that you need to go to, you need to wear long pants and you need to have your shoulders covered. So you'll see I also brought some t-shirts as well. I'm also bringing one pair of leggings that I'm just gonna have on me at the airport. And that is everything that is in this travel packing cube. I like this packing cube because it kind of unfolds like accordion style and then you can cinch it in, which really helps you get all your stuff in first, zip up the top part, and then you can kind of cinch it in and make it even more compact and tiny. So that is all of my pants. All right, next is this packing cube. This is a packing cube from Offspree. I've also heard a lot of good things about this company. This packing cube has all of my shirts in it. So I have about nine different types of tank tops that I'm going to be wearing. I was really looking for tops that were very versatile, that I could wear with a lot of different kinds of pants and bottoms that I brought. I don't know if I'm going to regret bringing a white tank top. I have one white tank top. 
so we'll see. In this packing cube as well, I have three t-shirts. Like I mentioned before, a lot of the temples that you visit, you need to have your shoulders covered, so either with a sarong or with a t-shirt. Also in this packing cube is one PJ top, and then I'm gonna wear another loosely fitted top on the plane. I'll have two kind of comfier, loungy type shirts. All right, next is my bathing suit. So bathing suits, this was a hard one, because again, I wanted my bathing suits to be versatile. The first bathing suit I have is just this little bikini. I like it because I feel really secure in it. I bet it'll look really good when I have a nice tan going. The next one that I brought is this cheetah print one. I love this bathing suit. It's so fun and unique. Then I just brought a simple black bathing suit and then a simple brown bathing suit. I just find having a good like solid color neutral bathing suit is always just going to look so timeless and amazing. I actually just got this at the store yesterday. I thought it'd be good to bring a one piece for activities like I'm gonna get my scuba certifications and I wanna learn how to surf. And so if I'm doing anything crazy like that or a day that I just wanna feel a little bit more secure, like my butt is fully covered in this. It also has like a built-in bra. So I just feel very like covered and secure and good in this bathing suit and it's just a simple black color so it's again timeless gonna look good with so many things in this packing cube as well i have two bras that i'm bringing two sports bras that i'm bringing and that is everything in this packing cube and that's an ops free packing cube as well all right next is my smallest packing cube this is an eagle creek packing cube i think this is the tiniest size that they have but basically all of my underwear is in this one so nothing to see there all right next we have the hardest thing which is toiletries. Now, for those of you who don't know me in real life, I am a skincare girly. So a lot of my skincare I need to pack in little tiny bottles. So in this bag, I have a lot of like my extras. So when I run out of my first ones, this will last me the four months. In this main bag, it is a very big cosmetic bag, but I like it because everything is compact in there. I actually have like a bag within a bag just so it's easier to take out at customs. This is just a lot of skincare in here. Nothing that I need to go into too much detail about. Unless you guys want to see a skincare routine. Not my usual content, but let me know. I also put jewelry in my cosmetic bag. The jewelry that I bought is from Atol Atolia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they are a fully waterproof jewelry company. This isn't sponsored or anything. It's just a company that I found when I was looking for good, non-expensive jewelry that I don't care if I lose or break. So the first thing I got were these gold hoops, very similar to my real gold hoops that I have here. I also got these tinier hoops that have like little diamonds on the front. And then I got just this simple necklace. This is kind of to replace this necklace that I wear all the time. Then I just have the normal toiletry stuff in here. I've got my toothbrush, my hairbrush, my menstrual cup, my shaver, my deodorant. Oh, also something good that I'm bringing for traveling for makeup removing. I've talked about this in a video before with environmental products, but I have this cloth. It's called Erase Your Face. This cloth, literally you just wet it and it's a microfiber cloth and it takes your makeup off so easily. And then you just throw it in with the wash. And then in this bag is all the makeup I'm bringing. I feel like I won't be wearing a lot of makeup on this trip, but obviously some nights I'm gonna wanna go out and maybe put on some makeup. So I brought just a little bit. Concealer, eyeliner, mascara, a little bit of eyeshadow, blush. Ooh, something that I almost forgot that you need definitely um, when you're traveling for so long is a nail clipper and then my glass nail file that I can do it myself. And yes, that is all my toiletries. All right, the next thing is my carry-on bag. So this one I'll be wearing in the front and then my Eagle Creek backpack I'll be wearing behind. So it'll be like a Rachel sandwich. So this just has a bunch of miscellaneous stuff and travel stuff that'll keep me comfortable and safe. First off, I'm bringing this hat that I will probably clip on to my backpack just to save room. But that points out a really good thing that all backpackers should carry, which is some carabiners. This one is humongous. This one I'll probably use to clip on some shoes onto my bag. But just having like little carabiners are great because let's say you're like bathing suits drying, but you have to go to another hostel. This can clip on to a lot of spots on your backpack and it just helps add things onto your pack. First off, I like to travel with plastic bags because I find it's easier to grab what you need and find what you need when it's like that. I kind of organize it into a lot of electronic things. So I have like earphones, 
my portable charger, any little camera cords that I need in that one. This bag is like my miscellaneous travel bag, so I have a lot of things that are gonna keep me comfortable on the plane. Just everyday little things. So in here I have my sleeping mask. I have a little fan. I have my waterproof phone protecting case. I have my glasses. I have a couple pens just in case one breaks for filling out travel documents, filling out stuff at the airport. I have some extra carabiners in different sizes. I have travel locks. One of them will be going on each of my bags. And then I also have a big lock that'll be used for hostels to lock my stuff in lockers. Then I have hand sanitizer. I have the bug bite thing. Um, look this up, it's really cool. I have little baby wipes. It's just good to keep you clean. Uh, I have Earplugs, these are from Loop that I'm trying out. And then I have my Sage Peppermint Halo diffuser, which I like to put on my head when I'm traveling, when I have headaches, and it just calms me down. Next in my personal item backpack, I have a book that I'm gonna read on the plane. I have all of my medication in this one. Also something that I brought that people might not think of, electrolytes, so packets that'll kind of like rehydrate you quicker than water. The biggest concern when you have a stomach bug is really dehydration from stuff, fluids coming out of you. So this will be good to like rehydrate me quickly. I've got bug spray, I've got my malaria pills, and like just all the medication stuff that I need in there. This is one of my luxurious items that I wanted to bring. Definitely not a need, but something that I just thought would be nice. This is a sleeping bag liner. I think this will be really good for hostels. A lot of the hostels that I'm staying at are pretty nice hostels, but obviously there might be a couple that might be a little dingy. So this will just be a good layer between me and the bed. But this will also be good when I'm on planes and trains and buses. And then here I just have a folder and this has all of my like travel documents and passport photos and stuff in there then I've got a first aid kit this is definitely a need when you're traveling then I've just got my tripod for when I'm vlogging this one is another luxury item but something I wanted my own snorkel so I have my own snorkel and goggles because I just hate sharing a snorkel because your mouth goes on it you know then I just have a bunch of like Kleenex just in case I'm ever in a bathroom that doesn't have toilet paper, that sort of thing. I also brought just a tote bag. So in case I'm going out during the day and I don't want to bring a big bag, I've got my tote bag. I've also got in terms of bags, this flip belt. I think this is probably going to be my favorite and smartest thing that I'm bringing. This flip belt is essentially what it sounds like. You can flip it and then there's like little slits that you can put your stuff in it. This is great because my phone can fit in here, money can fit in here, and then you just flip it and you wear it on your waist like a belt. So this is a bag that I got that I'm really excited about. It's a crossbody bag, but it can also be a fanny pack. I like it because it's tiny, but it has a lot of pockets in it. A lot of the other stuff that I'm bringing is just tech stuff. So I've got my vlog camera, I've got my gimbal stabilizer, I've got my GoPro, I've got a lot of like tech stuff in here with like cords. I've got lots of memory cards because like I mentioned before, I won't have my laptop on me. So I need to have all of my memory cards to transport this footage so that I can edit my videos when I come home. I'm really excited to bring this camera as well. And it's probably the most simple piece of tech that I own. Basically, as you can see, it's very thin. It's just this simple little camera. It's called Paper Shoot. The case on the outside is paper and you can choose what kind of cases that you want on it. Essentially, it's a digital camera that has a memory card, but it takes pictures that are like film. So I want to take a lot of cute aesthetic photos with my little film camera. Make sure you're following me on Instagram if you aren't already. I like it because as you can see, there's no screen, there's no nothing. So you're just really like living in the moment, taking a photo and then not knowing how it turned out. So it's really cool. I don't know. I think it helps you live in the moment a little bit more. All right, next up is shoes. Shoes were the hardest for me to figure out, but I think I narrowed it down to this. I am bringing a pair of flip-flops, my Tevas, a pair of running shoes, my Crocs. I just got these and I'm really excited about them. I've never owned a pair of Crocs before, but I think they're gonna be so versatile and so comfy to wear. And I feel like I'm gonna wear them all the time, traveling or not traveling. They're just so ugly. They're cute. I even got little charms for them. This one has like a camera. This has a little yin and yang symbol. And then this one says, save our earth. I just think it's so me. I'm so, I'm so excited about these Crocs. And I can clip them onto my bag so easily, just like that with my carabiner. 
Another thing that I'm bringing in my personal bag is a poncho. Poncho is necessary because sometimes it rains a lot in Asia. I'm not going during raining season, however, you never know, just in case. And then my handy dandy travel pillow. I love this travel pillow so freaking much. It literally has like double walled and it's memory foam. So it just, and you cinch it in and you clip yourself in and like your head does not go anywhere. It's so good. So I'm bringing this travel pillow for my long travel days and trains and plane rides. All right, that is it. Everything that I'm bringing in my backpack for four months in Southeast Asia. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram. Turn on your post notifications because lots of travel vlogs are coming your way. When you're seeing this, I will be back to posting on a weekly schedule. So stay tuned for all my travel videos. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out, yeah. Bust me down a whip, bitch, I don't do this for no clout, hey. I got so much back, I think I'm never